Customizable card games are really fun, but then after a while, they kind of get boring unless you get new cards. But why is that? Some people play Blanca and Street Fighter for like 10 years, and they don't need new Blanca cards. And other people play Zerg and Starcraft for years and years, and they don't need new Zerg cards. So why is that? It's because in those other games, you get more of a complete toolbox to play with. But then in a card game, you usually just get one deck that's not even that big. And if it's any good, it's got to be tuned to do just one thing really well. But can you imagine playing StarCraft where if you pick Zerg, all you could do is Zergling Rush, like attack early with your weak units, but it was tuned to do that really well? Well, of course that would get boring after a while. But it's worse than just getting boring. Now imagine that you had to go against some other player, and their deck is inherently really good against Zerglings. No. So basically you lost the game before you even sat down to play? Well that sucks. And getting new cards in an expansion or something, I mean that could be fun, but that doesn't really solve the problem. You need a different system. If you had access to more things to begin with, a more complete toolbox, You'd have more versatility and strategies, which is fun, and you'd also have more resilience, which lets you stand up to the many different strategies that people will play against you. So that's why, in Codex, you pick three different heroes, and your heroes each have their own spells, and they come with a bunch of units and other junk, and when you add it all up, it comes out to about the same number of effects as you'd get in three Magic the Gathering decks. But you don't just take all those cards and put them in a big pile and shuffle them up, because then you wouldn't really be able to choose which strategy you wanted to do. So instead, you put all those cards in your codex. Your codex is a book that holds all your cards so you can see them very clearly. And then, as the game unfolds, you build your deck from your codex. So that means you might do a Zergling Rush one game, but then when you play again, you have a whole bunch of different strategies that you can do and your opponent doesn't know which cards you're taking from your codex until you actually play them, so it's kind of like the Fog of War in a real-time strategy game. This is so cool that I hope you get to try codex for this reason alone, even before we get to all the other cool stuff. Like how in the starter set you can summon these dancer tokens, and then when the music stops you flip them over and they become unstoppable angry dancers, and you can play famous characters like Iron Man and Revolver Ocelot, or this mega powerful Trojan duck like from real history. And then in the core set, you can demand money from people at gunpoint, or you can play as a monkey dressed up as the Grey from my other games, or you can summon a whole bunch of frogs, or this really awesome panda spell that looks like it has fake art, but that's actually the real art that's really in the game. Then you can smash your opponent with this guy who sort of looks like that one monster from Princess Mononoke, or just use a T-Rex. And then in the deluxe set, you get all sorts of new guys like this illusionary tiger, or this guy who might be from Hellboy 2. You can make uh, weird disease-based guys or really powerful demons. And I hope that we raise enough money for a stretch goal where we can put a whole other expansion in the deluxe set. Then you'll get familiar Fantasy Strike characters such as Graves, Hatsuki, and Rook. You can throw ninja stars and dragon punches, and you also get this cute dog. Are you really going to let us ship this game without this cute dog? And then if we raise even more money, we can put yet another expansion in the game. It's a purple faction that's based on past, present, and future. And then you'll finally be able to make reavers and say stuff like, Hive has arrived. There's just too much more stuff here, so I, I just hope you get this game. Thanks.